Hello everyone, welcome back to Ocean Block. Uh, so I've AFK'd quite a bit, obviously, as you can see. I've got quite a lot of uh, what's this stuff called? Polonium pellets. Got loads of those now. Uh, why? Are you... oh, okay, these don't go in there. It's nice to know. Let's remove that. What I oh, and those. <laughs> I was planning on uh, basically not, uh, yeah, I'm getting rid of all of my chunks, my clusters. Cobalt's still in there, right? Uranium doesn't go in. I'm guessing aluminium doesn't go in either. Oh no, that's fine. Because we're getting it from, we're getting all of the, the products from this, right? You know, like uranium and stuff. We're getting that from our empowered sluices. So we don't really need these anymore. Just doing a bit of tidy up really. Uh, another thing that I did between episodes is, oh actually I made a new teleport for this. Outside in water. Okay, so we're now down here, so yeah. Uh, so I expanded a little bit. Okay, quite a lot. I put 64 new uh, matter condenser thingies with the same setup that I had previously. And yeah, that was just to get some more singularities. So I don't, I, yeah, don't want to kill that guy. So yeah, that's uh, kind of what I did between episodes. I can't think of anything else that I did. Um, oh yeah, this thing. So amazing comments I've had from a few people now, and that is this entangled in entangler. Wait, entangled binder. I think it's cool. Yeah. This thing it can't go very far in distance wise, except it can do cross dimensional. So, uh, yeah, my. Uh, uh, so, if I go to my fuel area and we hop down here, remember these? I could have put all of these buckets. Buckets, what are they called? Barrels? Yeah. I could have put all of these barrels in. This was a suggestion, actually, from. Uh, let me grab the name of the person. Platinum Lego. Amazing name, by the way. Especially for Minecraft people. Uh, but Platinum Lego suggested... Because these uh, entangled binder things can go across dimensions, I should have just put this entangled block thing in another dimension. Had a pipe that came out, went into one of these, block breakered it, and then another one to place it back down and then it would be constantly fed and broken fed and broken fed and broken and because it's in a compact machine that means yeah it's it's being it's in a different dimension so we're not getting any like radioactive effects or anything wish i knew about that i yeah i'm i kind of looked quite far yesterday into how these entangle well not these how to move the oh ignore those how to move the uh, what do you call it the nuclear waste stuff there's nothing in here now so that's good any in here that's all good yeah I looked into how to move this nuclear waste between dimensions and I couldn't find anything anywhere but you guys have have come in and uh, delivered in fact what I could do is set up a small compact machine to do that now but I mean this is this is already filling up so I don't, I don't really mind uh, this sort of brings us on to the thing that we're going to be doing today, and that is we are going to be making some of these uh, thermal evaporation things, whatever they're called, the towers. I didn't realise, but we need lithium dust. So I looked into these a bit more, these induction cell things. So if I go, d d d this one is needed for the... Um, the the creative cube and that's where we're headed right so this one here i don't know how these are made these also made with lithium dust so we need quite a lot of lithium dust and yeah we haven't got any yet so we need to sort of figure that one out so i was actually i, I wanted this binder so i could bind some stuff so i'm gonna bind this over to this so that's not going to connect yet because we need to set this up. And I believe I've made all of the blocks for this. And I don't know if this requires power or what. I think it might require heat and you can 
heat it up even more with power, but I'm hoping that it will be good enough without, like, you know, having to do that. So, right, let's get some of these thermal... So I did make a bunch. Might as well get our wand as well, right? Wand. Oh, not wand. Uh, I'm going to use this a bit more in a sec, actually, because I want to uh, pipe out of this one here and pipe into one of our machines, which I'll set up down here. And I don't think these are being covered. No, they're not. Beautiful. So let's let's just start setting these up. Oh, that one already makes it. That's pretty cool. Is that going to start pumping water in? No. I thought it would let me pump water into this. Uh, or is it this one? Ah, it's this one. That's why that's happened. Okay. Right. No, don't put it there. Right, I'll tell you what. What I'll do is I'll build these two up and then we will be right back. Right, there we go. We've uh, We've got this up and running now. I think these have got heat coming in. Yeah, they do. I don't know if it's these things that give it the heat. These uh, advanced solar generators, but yeah. Also, uh, I found out... Oh, fell down. Uh, I found out that, yeah, I don't think these need to be, like, attached or anything. I saw it on the picture on uh, the FTP wiki. And it doesn't look like these things need to actually be, like, facing this thing. Maybe they do, and I'm wasting power here. I don't know, but yeah, this seems to be working now. Now it's getting getting some uh, getting some water into this. Not entirely sure how I'm going to be doing that because I did try. Let's grab this. I did try like um, you know doing this and then putting that on this thing down here and okay now it's connecting didn't connect earlier not sure why I think you have to connect it up afterwards and there you go 10,000 buckets of uh, brine that was easier than I thought it was uh, what is brine is it water water is it liquid <laughs> I think it's liquid so Pipes, I'm guessing. Oh, no. I think I need to set this one. Let's do that. And then this should be... Liquid Lithium. Woohoo! Right, in that case, what I can do is do the same thing on a tangled block down here. Hmm, I want to push that out. How am I going to do that? Oh, plan. Let's do it on a pipe. Does that work? Something like that. Because we want to pull out from it, right? I mean, there is the other... Yeah, let's try this instead. Sorry, I know I'm, I'm sort of like thinking out loud on camera. But what we can do... I want to put it down here, by the way, that's why. We get another block. Do you have that one? Made, so i put this one here. Again, I'm trying to get all of this in the same chunk. So I can do this. Do a pipe. Here is where, oh crap, actually I think this needs to, also does that need to be up one? Maybe it does, All right, let's try this. Um, pipe, we can set it to pull on this. Ooh. That should be connection type push. There you go. So that's pulling out like that. 
then we need one of those things, concentrators. Con I did not make one of these. Wait for that to finish. And then I think chunking that down. I make normal lithium. I should have made the thing for this already. The chemical that doesn't look like what I made. Chemical crystallizer. I made the dissolution chamber. Brilliant. I'll make one of these and I'll be right back. Right, there we go. We've got our chemical crystallizer. That's going to go right here. Should fill up with lithium. It did fill up. It's not really filling up, but you know what I mean. Uh, and then I want to eject out the front and get an importer. And I already made one. Lovely. So now all we need to do is give these power. There should be power under here, so what I can do... You can hear first or cable. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. One, two, three, up one, four, cross five. Might be. Hmm. Let's, um... Mine right here. How many in is it? It's three in. One, two, three, so right there. Oh crap, I forgot. I not break anything. No, all good. Sweet. I forgot you, you are like super strength whenever you're underwater. If you've got that that single what do you call it? One of these things? This thing here, the minor pick thing. It's ridiculous underwater. Super powers. Do I not do that right? No, those things don't take power, do they? What am I doing? Where is my power coming from then? It's right there! What am I doing? Okay. One, two, three, and then... What did I just do? I just broke all my concrete! Anyway, that's making us lithium. That should make us a few lithium, right. Now I'm gonna fix my mess, be right back. And there we go, it's like nothing happened. Uh, yeah, so that is creating us lithium. So see how much we've got already. Lith... 10, brilliant. So that's coming in now, it's good to see. Uh, what we can do is we can head back home land and in this episode we're going to get into making the mech armor because yeah, I'm not exactly sure why I haven't made this yet I forgot that there was a mechanism tool as well I got distracted by draconic right draconic's awesome yeah so I was looking at what are these called units So I'm looking at a few of these, and there's one in particular that looks pretty good. If I can find it. Provide stick radiation, that's not it. There it is. Uh, you can kind of not see it there. Let's do this. There you go, you can see it now. Inhalation purification unit. Applies a miniature electromagnetic field around the breathing apparatus, preventing selected potion effect types. I think this is the one that people were talking about, right? This is the one that will allow us to have armor on and then just disable the... Oh, what's it called? When we go underwater, we get those effects. I think it's slowness and mining fatigue, so we can disable those two things. And then, yeah, we'll have mechanism armor and then be able to, yeah, be underwater, which is perfect. Almost got 100 now. Awesome. Is this thing finished? I think it's finished, you know. Tweed. Right, anyway, uh, let's just get cracking on with these then. So I can I'll probably just make, I think it's like the same recipe for all of them, right? Yeah, yeah, cool. So I 
can do this one. All of those are auto crafted, so it's pretty good. Um, so that's that one done. And then I just need to make the netherite stuff. Oh, actually, I need to make all of the recipes. I only need to make these once, so I'm going to make them and then pull them out afterwards. I don't want them clogging up our auto crafts. Uh, where's a good spot? Yeah, stick them in here. Uh, so we need netherite armor. I mean, we kind of got these ones, and we can stick mending. Uh, you know what? No, let, oh, I want my sword. Let's just make some new stuff. So, diamond. I've got barely any now because uh, they're being sucked up by our singularities right now. Uh, so, let's do this. One of these, get rid of that. One of these, get rid of that. One of those. And then we do need netherite. Ooh. Easy peasy. There we go. Craft one of these for us, please. Missing gold? Are we really out of gold? Damn. We really need to do something about this armor. I've had loads of comments about this stuff, by the way. Oh, blimey. Oh my god, look at the scroll bar. Hmm. I don't think I really want any of the enchantments from these. So, what I may end up doing is chucking all of these through either a smeltery hmm, we could do a smeltery or we could do that salvaging thing what's it called? scrapper no, is it scrapper? scrap oh, I know how to find out I know that it can give you netherite, so if I do this. Item recycler, so it's called a recycler. Recycler. So we can do. get it to import and export into this. Start that going. Importer and exporter. Turn the exact mode off. Those are the four bits that I want to scrap. So hopefully that, yeah, that will do that. Nice. Should get us a bunch of gold as well, which is always useful. Oh yeah, I used all my uh, importers, didn't I? When I was, uh, when, I, when I did the expansion down there. So wrench this thing back up. Might just stick a stack upgrade on that. Almost clicked on it with the wrench again. Yeah there we go. Oh you can't time in a bottle this. There's a lot of blocks in this you can't time in a bottle which is I mean it's good but one one seven nearly one one eight brilliant we've been in this world far too long wow uh right anyway so let's make mech i should go off and do all the things oh and use these htpe sheet things Brilliant. Ooh. 
I think, oh yeah, it, it did it. Oh, that's another thing I did between episodes. So if I pop down here, first thing is I uh, I turn this off because oh, I was supposed to turn this off. Oh wow, okay, I don't need this big ass cable then. I know exactly what happened there. So if I break all of this, I, I'm reluctant. Oh yeah, that's why. <laughs> okay. So now if I connect this up, like this, there we go. Yeah, I, that means that these uh, destructors are no longer connected, so they're not doing the destruction. I've got like ridiculous amounts of these dense construction blocks and they're super easy to get in our system, right? So I've just turned this off now because it's quite loud. It keeps doing the break-in sound, right? Uh, and what I also did was I made a second sawmill thing. If this is stopped, so, oh yeah, so this one's doing the sawdust, this one's doing the oak logs. Just two singularities. <sighs> Wait, why did you stop then? I'm out of wood. Oh, I knew the day would come. I am out of wood, wow. Okay, wood seeds. Need to crack you up. No, oh, no, you're right there. Wood essence. I'm very confused. What? Right, anyway, sorry, getting distracted. Uh what, why did I come over here? Oh yeah, for the mech suit. And there we go, mech suit. It does look pretty cool. I mean, Draconic and uh, Mechanism are having a bit of a fight down here, but it's pretty awesome. I like the, the little HUD thing in the top left. Oh, maybe I'll, yeah, yeah good point. The one, one probe. In this situation, I'm going to put this, let's stick it back in the middle. Yeah, there we go. That's much cleaner, much nicer. So to put some of these uh, module things in here, the units, which is what I look like in this. What's it look like? Oh yeah, I heard that this clips. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, it looks cool on its own though. Wow. Anyway, yeah, to put some stuff on the mech armor, I think you have to build a machine. That mech. Uh, let me go find that machine and then we'll be right back. There we go, we've got our machine. So I am gonna put this, I'm gonna put this right here. I was gonna explain that, so this is entangled to, actually let's do this. So I've just hoppered an item into that. And that is entangled into this compact machine, which I didn't know was a thing. I can get this back. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe I didn't know that. That's uh, that's ridiculous. I just got a big bit of lag there. Ridiculously good to know. So let's stick. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. That requires power. Okay. You know what we do if something requires power. <laughs> Wait, what? Do you require it? Are you sighted? I'm guessing you're sighted. I can't see you from there. Do you require power? Yes, right behind this thing. So if I stick you back here, I want to break this block. Which is empty right now, which is good. Beautiful, there we go. Then we can, I think we can do it like this. 
no, like this, yeah. So now let's make some uh, units. I specifically wanted this one here. Don't know about the rest. And also I don't know if there's like something I need. So nutrition paste don't really care about because I've got my industrial four going one. Don't really want a jetpack. Gravitational, yeah, this one here, the, the unit that lets you fly is a little bit, I mean, you need some of this antimatter. So you know, we're not gonna get to that for a little bit at least. I mean, we should probably go for it because I think we need it for a few things. But let's just teach all of this. Bronze. I've never taught you bronze nuggets. I'm not gonna autograph you because I know you're gonna be used up by something. So let's also do something like this. So now you know how to make bronze nuggets. And that's module base as well. So check those in. Now we can either request some of those base units, or we could just do something like this. I'm going to make one of these each. I think they're quite easy to make. Oh, luckily we've got all the dies autocrafted, so now I'll just make us. There we go. And that one's easy enough to make as well. Whoa, okay. Oh, I know what that's happening. Uh, I may have requested... Are you still going? I know, I'm making glass. All right, let's grab a couple of bits of glass. That's going to throw our system off a little bit. Oh, pants. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um... I think that will fix it if I do it that way. Anyway, right, so that was that. What was the steel? Beautiful. And we should be able to chuck this. Again, I'm gonna put temporary stuff in here. I did make the pattern for the modification station, which I still think is a really cool name for a band. Unit. You doing it? Ah, yeah, it has to make some bronze because, yeah, it needs to create the bronze nuggets for this. It's got to go off and do that. It is. It should have made us the the sheets at least. Is that what this is doing? Maybe. Also, I do realise that I could probably just make the blazing pass uh, the blazing thingies, what are they called? This stuff, this blazing crystal essence, probably should have just done that instead. And then I had to set up a second one. In fact, I probably should have done it with all of the recipes in this. I'm going to need to do it anyway, at some point. Uh, right, let's chuck all of this away. Still going, what the heck? I bet it's because this is jam packed right now. Oh, I bet it just finished, brilliant. Yep. <laughs> this seems like something that goes on the, yeah, the, the head slot. And then can we I'm not sure how to open this. Uh, let me 
let me go and have a look at the controls. Um, yeah. Module tweaker is this button. Hashtag. Yeah, there we go. So this. Remove beneficial false. Remove neutral true. Let's try it. But it's not doing it. Also, this is taking a lot of power. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, wait. Maybe it was doing it. I just drained a lot of power, though. Uh, maybe you need some of the, uh, the units that... There's a unit in here which basically gives you more charge distribution. Alright, let's, let's add that to our bookmarks. And also, there's another one that like gives you more energy unit. Yes, yeah, so we can create a bunch of these as well. Didn't make too many, well, I didn't have to use too many of these uh, poloniums, that's pretty good. Let's do one of those. Units, right. So, maximum eight, one of these. Let's make one of those. Missing gold still. Ugh. Oh, wrong one. Uh, this one. Okay, maybe I just do one for now. At least put this one in here. Okay, it doesn't do what I was thinking it would do. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, but yeah, what I am going to do is I'm going to upgrade my Draconic Bow if I can. Yeah, I need to make one of these Chaos or Chaotic Cores. Yeah, I'm going to do one of these and then I'll be right back if I've got enough. Wait. What was it for this? One, two, three, four, five, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I've got 10. Wow, that one's not even chaotic. Oop. Uh, what is it to upgrade? To, yeah, this. Yeah, I need, I need 12 of those. Ah, balls. Yeah, because what I was planning on doing is going to go fight the chaos... Guardian thingy. I didn't see any of these units that like reduce the amount of damage you take. So not exactly sure if that's a thing. But yeah, uh maybe we don't do that this episode. In fact, I kinda think that's all we've got time for this episode, unfortunately. I didn't really get much done, did I? <laughs> Just got a mech suit. And, I mean, I did set up the stuff over here, right? Let me have a sleep. Yeah, I did set these things up over here. I think it looks quite neat, just having one pipe. Good looking chunk right there. Anyway, right, I think, uh, yeah, 
that's, that's all we've got time for. Thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.